Hi, hello. Welcome to my online e-math classes. In this video, we will discuss the topic locus, which is from mathematics 1B, intermediate for the states Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Take a look at the question. Find the equation of the locus if capital A 2 comma 3 and capital B 2 comma minus 3 and uh, P A plus P B equal to 8. Fine. So, as we discussed this in so many problems in this topic, we have to write the first step as let P x1 y1 be any point in locus be any point in locus later we have to mention the points in the given question two points are given first point capital A 2 comma 3 and second point capital B 2 comma minus 3 and if there is any equation is given to find the locus of a point we have to mention that equation it was PA plus PB equal to 8. So, and uh, this equation can also be written as PA equal to 8 minus PP because to find the locus of P regarding with this equation this is a shortcut technique to identify the locus of P. Students are advised to do as we are providing the solution. If we directly taking the given solution, it's a time taken process. So, I am advising all my students to follow this solution to get as early as possible a locus of P. Later, do whole square on both sides. P A square is equal to 8 minus P B whole square while expanding 8 minus pb whole square we should use the formula a minus b whole square so next step write down p a square equal to a minus b whole square means a square which is 8 square b square means pb square minus 2 a b a stands for 8 b stands for p b later we should use the distance formula for p a square and p b square we already discussed in our uh, earlier problems and uh, formula is also given in our uh, previous videos again I will give you the formula for uh, distance of two given points let us suppose the first point should be x1 y1 and uh, 
the second point should be x2 y2 and the distance between these two points is x2 minus x1 whole square that means difference of x ordinates and whole square next y2 minus y1 whole square under square root difference of x ordinates square plus difference of y ordinates square this is the formula for distance of two given points using this formula we have the distance pa and pb also while we calculating pa you have to assume that the point capital a as x2 y2 because the point p is already it is x1 y1 so using this technique and there is no need to take a square root because it is already whole square so take a look at the points p and a x1 minus 2 whole square difference of x ordinates and difference of y ordinates there is no need to take the whole square root because it is already square in here and 8 square means it is 64 and now pb square take a look at the points p and b you have to assume the point p as x2 y2 and the po point p is already it is x1 so difference of x ordinates means x1 minus 2 whole square plus y1 plus 3 whole square minus 2 8s are 16 into pb now after doing this step take a look at on both of the sides here also x1 minus 2 whole square exists here also the same quantity exists so they got cancelled implies expand this y1 minus 3 whole square y1 square using the formula a minus b whole square we have y1 square plus b square b square means 3 square minus 2ab 2 into 3 into y1 which is equal to 64 plus again expand the y1 plus 3 whole square using the formula y a plus b whole square so y1 square plus 3 square plus 2ab 2 into 3 into y1 and keep this minus 16 pb same later at last we will expand this pb also now take a look at the both of the sides we have similar quantities y1 square y1 square and 3 square 3 square got cancelled now take a look at both of the sides we have minus 6y1 2 into 3 into y1 minus 6y1 equal to 64 plus 2 into 3 into y1 6y1 minus 16 pb moving all the terms same side except this minus 16 pb we have minus 6y1 minus 64 minus 6y1 equal to minus 16 pb minus 6y1 minus 6y1 it is minus 12y1 minus 64 equal to minus 16 pb take a look at these two terms they have common factor minus 4 
taking minus 4 as a common value we have here for the first term it is 3 by 1 minus is already taken as a common value and 4 16s are 64 which is equal to minus 16 pb take a look at both of the sides minus 4 goes to minus 16 in 4 times now we have 3 by 1 plus 16 equal to 4 times of db now do whole square on both of the sides for solving the points pb the expression pb so 3 by 1 plus 16 whole square Doing whole square for uh, 4, we have 16 and for PB, it is PB square. Now, using the formula A plus B whole square for 3 by 1 plus 16, we have 3 by 1 whole square plus 16 whole square plus 2AB means 2 into 3 by 1 into 16 which is equal to 16 of we already did this uh, pb square this problem look at here pb square means x1 minus 2 whole square plus y1 minus 3 y1 plus 3 whole square x1 minus 2 whole square plus y1 plus 3 whole square fine is pb square I just copied this entire expression here now this implies 3 by 1 whole square means 9 by 1 square 16 whole square means 256 2 into 3 6 is 16 96 by 1 which is equal to 16 of expand this with the use of a minus b whole square x1 square plus 4 minus 4x1 plus y1 square plus 9 plus 6y1 again 9 by 1 square plus 256 plus 96 by 1 16 into x square 16 x square 16 into 4 64 again 4 16 64 x1 16 into y1 square 16 by 1 square 16 nines 44 and 16 into 6 96 by 1 both sides 96 by 1 cancel moving all the terms same side 16 x1 square plus 64 minus 64 x1 plus 16 y1 square plus 144 minus 9y1 square plus sorry minus because we are uh, transforming these values into this side minus 256 equal to 0 so 16x1 square and uh, how many y1 squares exist here 16 by 1 square minus 9 it is uh, 7 by square by 1 square minus 64 x1 and 64 plus 144 uh, this is 2 h plus 2 not 8 minus 256 minus 
8 and 48 which is equal to 0 therefore this is the answer for this question write down last step therefore lock us is replace x1 with x and y1 with y we have the locus for this point p here it is the answer thanks for watching this is the sevanaga kumar mathematics lecturer subscribe my channel press the bell icon share this channel if you have any doubts use the comment section as early as possible i will answer your all questions thank you bye bye